Tell me about your approach to asset allocation. Our asset allocation process starts with our strategic asset allocation. That is the, the allocation that each of the funds over time would have to a particular, particular asset class. We have a committee that is formed of myself and a number of my senior colleagues at, uh, at Lorium, um, which meet on a, on a quarterly basis to review our strategic asset allocation, and then on a monthly basis to review our tactical asset allocation. Tactical asset allocation would refer to the changes that we make to the, to the, to the balance of funds within the, within the, within the fund that we, the balance of asset classes that we have within the, within the fund. So in times where we believe that the equity markets will outperform the fixed income market, we would increase the relative weighting to equities relative to, to fixed income. At times where, for, for example, we think that the fixed income market will outperform the equity market, we would increase the weight to, to fixed income. So we have, we have two different asset class, uh, two different multi-asset class funds that uh, are regulated by Regulation 28. That is the high equity balanced fund and then our low equity stable fund. That regulation limits the amount that you can have in, each, in, 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 in various asset classes and then there's further regulation around what, can, what one can invest outside of the borders of, uh, border South, borders of South Africa. So our asset allocation process is dynamic in that it not only, uh, not only looks at the South African asset, uh, the South African asset universe, but also the international universe, and has to comply with the regulation, regulation 28, and then also the Reserve Bank requirements.